Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and my buddy Aaron sent me these Ariat Sport Square Toe Cowboy Boots, and we're going to take a look into the qualities of this boot today in this quick impression. So let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way and we get better. Aaron has sent me boots a few times over the past couple of years. He first sent me a pair of Abilene boots, which ended up being the first cowboy boot giveaway on this channel. He also recently sent me a pair of Nakonas up here earlier this year, which is turning out to be one of my favorite boots ever. And most recently, he sent me this Ariat Sport Square Toe boot because they didn't end up fitting him it was too late to send them back, so he sent them to me for a review and to see if they fit. So stick around because if they don't fit, we might be doing a giveaway for this boot. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's get into the rundown. This Ariat Sport Square Toe boot is full grain leather on the vamp and the shaft and it stands at 13 inches tall. It has a square toe, but it is a narrow square toe with a single stitched, well, a lot of Ariat boots kind of feature that wide square with the double stitched welt. I like this look much better, uh, but it totally is up to your preference. It also has a Duratread outsole here, which looks great. It doesn't have too much of aggressive tread there, so you can use it for a bunch of different things, but it will definitely help keep you from slipping and sliding whatever you end up doing in this boot. We have a two inch heel here, which kind of feels like the same material as the Duratread outsole, so this may be a Duratread heel as well. Uh, it is not stack leather, even though they have those lines there that make it look like it's stack leather, which is something that Ariat does regularly on their boots. On the inside, you do have some leather lining up towards the top, but then it turns into a synthetic air mesh lining, is what they're calling it, which is really light and it does have some padding to it, probably will give you some breathability and it is cloth lined at the foot so that synthetic air mesh lining does not run through the foot area. I prefer a leather lined boot just because you know it's not going to break down, it's not going to rip as fast as a mesh will. However, it does keep the cost of these boots down so it all depends on what you're looking for in a boot. For an insole, we have the 4LR insole, except it looks completely different from the 4LR insoles that we've looked at on this channel in the past. As you can see, the insole that comes out of the Made in China areas is much different than the 4LR that is coming out of the Mexican Made areas, and I don't really know why these have the same name. It's very confusing. So if you're looking at an Ariat, I would have to assume that if you're getting a Mexican made Ariat, it's gonna come with this 4LR. And if you're getting a Chinese made Ariat, it's gonna come with this 4LR, but they don't even compare, really. I would have to say that the one out of the Chinese made Ariat is much lighter, much stiffer, and also not as thick as the one that's coming out of the Mexican made Ariats. Plus, the lining on the top of the one that's in the Mexican made Ariats is much smoother, much silkier, and you do have these bubbles, which you don't get on the insole in the Ariat Sport Square Toe Cowboy boot. So I would have to say that this 4LR is my favorite insole from Ariat, but it is nothing like the 4LR that's coming out of the Made in China Ariats. Another thing that I like about this boot is that they're offering B widths. Ariat is really good at offering narrow widths in some of their boots, and this happens to be one of them. Aaron sent me an 11 and a half B, which is the size Ariat that I wear for their work hog boot. So this should fit, but, um, Based off of that insole, I'm not so sure because it is much thinner 
than the other 4LR or even the ATS insole that's in the work hog. So let's try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. They definitely feel a little bit big, especially in the instep. I should feel some snugness right at the top of my foot there because that is the hinge point of the cowboy boot and how it stays on your foot. Now these are a narrow width boot at 11 and a half B. B is a narrow width size. And I'm kind of surprised that it does feel so big, especially at the instep, because technically I'm a 12 B. It looks good though. Here's a POV of what the boots look like if you are interested. Insole though does not feel anything like the 4LR on the boots that use that insole that are coming out of Mexico. It's so confusing. I don't know why they would do that. Name an insole the same thing but have it be completely different. Maybe just because it uses the same material. Uh, I mean it still has some nice arch support there but it really doesn't feel anything like the other 4LR does at the ball of the foot or at the toes because you're missing all of those nice bumps that are on the Mexican made 4LRs. It's really hard to distinguish them in this video so I'm sorry if it's confusing you because it's confusing me too. I have no idea why they would do that. But just for kicks and giggles I'm gonna put the ATS insoles in here and see if it snugs it up a little bit to see if this 4LR is as thin as I think it is um, and the ATS insoles that I am putting in this boot are coming out of the work hog that I have which is an 11 and a half B as well so it should fit in this perfectly so let's see what happens here's the ATS insole that I'm gonna put in this area sport square toe Okay, so I just put the ATS insole only in the right boot and left the 4LR in the left boot and it is a little bit thicker. So I fit into this boot a little bit better, but it's still a little bit too big. I would have to say that I would probably size down another half size for this boot. I would go to an 11B just because I need a lower instep. It feels too big even when I switch out the insoles. I wish I could put the other 4LR in this boot except that is from a 10.5 D Ariat. I don't believe they make as many B widths in their Mexican factories as they do in their Chinese factories. Overall I think this looks good. The 2 inch heel really isn't that noticeably different from their other boots if you're used to an inch and a half heel. And everything else about this boot pretty much feels like an Ariat boot that was made in China. There is so much difference between the Mexican made 4LR to the Chinese made 4LR and it's really annoying because it's misleading to the customer who may have tried 4LRs in the past. What a letdown if you were expecting to have the 4LR that you have in your Mexican made Ariats. It's not going to be the same in the Chinese made Ariats. Everything else about this boot though seems very on par with the Ariat brand. And the Duratread always holds up. Love the look of these. Love the narrow square toe. And at $160 I feel like this is a good buy if you can get over the fact that the 4LR in this one is not nearly as close to as good as the 4LRs in the Mexican made boots. And lucky you, since these don't fit me, one of you out there will be walking away with these boots if you happen to catch this video within a couple of weeks of it being posted. I got a link in the description where you can fill out a form and enter to win. And then on November 28th, I will be doing a live stream. We'll call it a Boots and Ballads live stream. And I will announce the winner of the boots live on that live stream. So join me on November 28th. Links to that is in the description as well. And you might walk away with this boot right here. It's 11 and a half B if that's your size or you think it might fit you. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you think of the 4LR confusion down in the comments. And if you have the Ariat Sport Square Toe Boot, what you think of it down in the comments as well. You guys are the best. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.
What's with the 4LR? Why is it so far away from the Mexican made lines? But at its price point, maybe you don't even mind. And I wouldn't blame you one bit. Thank you so much for watching today. And huge thanks to Aaron for making these boots up available for a giveaway. Don't forget to fill out the link in the description if you're interested in winning them. I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.